Namaste. Welcome back to the online math class. And today, let's talk about how to differentiate exponential functions. Till now, we have learnt some basic concept about exponential functions, like its definition, nature, and so on. Let's have a quick review on exponential functions. What is an exponential function? The function y is equal to f of x is equal to b raised to x with the positive base b greater than 1 is called an exponential function. For example, 2 raised to x, 3 raised to x, etc. There are two types of exponential functions. The exponential function with base 10 is called common exponential function. That is, o is equal to f of x is equal to 10 raised to x. And the exponential function with base e is called the natural exponential function. That is, o is equal to f of x is equal to e raised to x. 2 less than e less than 3. That means the value of e lies between 2 and 3 and it is approximately equal to 2.71. The value of e is approximately equal to what? 2.71. Now we move on to the topic derivative of an exponential function. We know the derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x into log a. That is d by dx of a raised to x is equal to a raised to x into log a. So here d by dx of e raised to x is equal to e raised to x into log e. And the value of log e is 1. So we can replace this one e raised to x into 1 and which is equal to e raised to x. That means the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x itself. d by dx of e raised to x is what? e raised to x. Okay. Now the question is how to take the derivatives of such functions? Let me explain this with the help of few examples. Here the question is differentiate the following functions with respect to x. First one is e raised to minus x e raised to minus x let us take y as e raised to minus x y is equal to e raised to minus x now we can differentiate with respect to x so derivative of y is dy by dx which is equal to here in the arches the term is e raised to minus x we know the derivative of e raised to x as e raised to x. So, here this minus x we can treat it as x. So, if it is x then the answer is e raised to x itself. So, here we can write e raised to minus x. And we have to apply the chain rule into derivative of minus x. That is e raised to minus x into what is the derivative of minus x? It is minus 1. So the final answer is minus e raised to minus x. Once again, the question is e raised to minus x. We take y is equal to e raised to minus x and differentiate with respect to x. Derivative of y is dy by dx and derivative of e raised to minus x. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. So here we have to write e raised to minus x into derivative of what? This minus x. d by dx of minus x. And derivative of minus x is minus 1. So it becomes minus e raised to minus x. Okay. Now move on to the second one. The question is cos inverse e raised to x. So let us take o e is equal to cos inverse e raised to x. Here also we differentiate with respect to x. Cos inverse e raised to x. If it is cos inverse x, we have formula. So let us treat it as x. e raised to x as x. 
So cos inverse x formula dy by dx is equal to class class we have discussed derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square d by dx of cos inverse x is what minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square so minus 1 by root of 1 minus e raised to x the whole square into what d by dx of e raised to x chain rule d by dx of e raised to x so it becomes minus 1 by root of 1 minus e raised to x the whole square a raised to m the whole raised to n what is a raised to m the whole raised to n a raised to m n so e raised to x into 2 that is 2x e raised to 2x now the derivative of e raised to x it is nothing but e raised to x itself so finally we can write it is equal to minus 1 into e raised to x that is minus e raised to x by root of 1 minus e raised to 2x i repeat y is equal to cos inverse e raised to x we differentiate with respect to x derivative of y dy by dx cos inverse x derivative minus 1 by root of 1 minus x square so here minus 1 by root of 1 minus instead of x the term is e raised to x so x square that is e raised to x the whole square into derivative of e raised to x and it is e raised to x so minus 1 divided by root of 1 minus e raised to 2x into e raised to x it becomes minus e raised to x divided by root of 1 minus e raised to 2x is that clear okay now the third one is e raised to cos x here also you can follow the same procedure so do it yourself okay now we move on to exercise 5.4 first one is e raised to x divided by sin x so let y is equal to e raised to x divided by sin x and we have to find the derivative of this function that is dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to here it is given in the form u by v that is quotient form so you have to apply quotient rule u by v the whole dash is equal to v u dash minus u v dash divided by v square that is denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator divided by square of the denominator so here denominator is sin x so sin x into derivative of numerator d by dx of e raised to x then minus numerator into e raised to x into derivative of denominator that is sin x whole divided by square of the denominator sin square x now sin x into derivative of e raised to x is what e raised to x then minus e raised to x into what's the derivative of sin x it's cos x by sin square x which is equal to we can take on e raised to x common so e raised to x into sin x minus cos x divided by sin square x once again question o is equal to e raised to x divided by sin x so dy by dx is equal to denominator sin x into derivative of numerator that is e raised to x minus numerator e raised to x into derivative of denominator derivative of sin x is cos x here e raised to x is common if you take e raised to x common we get e raised to x into sin x minus cos x divided by sin square x okay now the second question is e raised to sin inverse x so let o e is equal to e raised to sin inverse x so dy by dx is equal to e raised to sin inverse x if it is x we can apply the formula derivative of e raised to x d by dx of e raised to x is e raised to x so here instead of x the term is sin inverse x so that can be treated as x so if it is x then we can write e raised to x itself that is e raised to sin inverse x because in the place of x the term is sin inverse x so we have to multiply this one with the derivative of sin inverse x that is d by dx of sin inverse x 
that means chain rule so here is to sin inverse x into what's the derivative of sin inverse x d by dx of sin inverse x that is 1 by root of 1 minus x square 1 by root of 1 minus x square so here 1 by root of 1 minus x square and finally we can write e raised to sin inverse x divided by root of 1 minus x square ok and the third one is e raised to x cube so let o is equal to e raised to x cube as in the previous question if it is x then only you can apply this formula d by dx of e raised to x is e raised to x so let it be x x cube can be taken as part x so dy by dx is equal to e raised to x derivative e raised to x so e raised to x cube into derivative of this one x cube d by dx of x cube that is e raised to x cube into what is the derivative of x cube derivative of x power n d by dx of x raised to n is what n x raised to n minus 1 n into x raised to n minus 1 so here the power is 3 so 3 x square derivative of x cube is what 3 x square and we can rearrange the terms 3 x square into e raised to x cube so the final answer is 3 x square into e raised to x cube ok so in exercise 5.4 there are three more questions of the same model that is question number 4, 6 and 7 do it yourself ok hope you understood the concept if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thanks for watching thank you